Hello, darlings. Today we explore a floating market in Thailand, which is packed with food, food, and more food. Near the edge of Bangkok is the Klong Lap Mayom floating market, which feels more local compared to the very touristy Damnan Sadawak floating market. Ready or not, let's lunch and munch around. It's an early afternoon on Sunday, and street food is plenty. Pad Thai in the making, and it's a sizzle fest. Gradually, the culinary music calms down. Aside the vendor is a table covered in ingredients. There's giant marinated and cut shrimp, smaller dried shrimp, firm cubes of tofu. I take it this is fish sauce with chili flakes, raw red onion, and chopped garlic. For dining tables, head to the wooden deck on water. The pad thai contains sprout, scallion, egg, tofu, and even comes with two stalks of scallion. Sprinkle on some of that lime. Condiments include peanut, dried chili flakes, and sugar. As for us, a spoonful of chili pepper and then some of this powdery peanut. Make it two spoonfuls. I bet you're gonna be yummy yum. As common in Thai cuisine, this dish is sweet and spicy. Overall, the flavor coats your tongue and the lime cuts it. This probably makes a good hangover food. Although there is red onion in it, you can't taste it much. Oh man, I feel sweat dripping here and my hair is like sticking. <laughs> Round two. There's only one thing on my mind right now with all this heat. Young coconut, where are you at? Fresh ones on the stem. Each coconut goes for 20 baht, about 65 cents. You wanna have the first sip? It's on the sweet side. We got lucky. Coconuts are not always this tasty. Aside from food, there's also shopping. Food tends to protect your meals from bugs. Stacked straw baskets and hanging straw bags. Bouquets of handmade roses for that special someone. Benches face a TV playing music videos. I guess you could think of it as a public living room. Something tells me this just might be the main food court. Kanom dom on banana leaves. These are balls of dough covered in grated coconut. Aside from all things coconutty, there's also seafood, like assorted grilled mussels, and samples of sauce. Maybe grab some fresh produce, like mangosteen, or salak, also known as snake fruit. This is salak in the inside. Kinda looks like butt cheeks and tight pants. Then we encounter kanom babin, pancakes made with egg, rice flour, and shredded coconut. Each side is cooked to a seductive golden brown. The same vendor also makes kanam tokyo. These short sausages are rolled between thin pancakes. The swirly ends add a fun touch. We got a box of coconut pancakes. Each piece is quite sticky. The crunchy bits comes from the sliced up coconut meat. Some pancakes are white, others a gray purple. Will they taste the same or not? It's similar, but because the color is different, it gives up a different ambiance. This purple gray one is a bit more moody. Ladies and gentlemen, meet the steamed rice skin dumplings. They are filled with minced meat and shrimp. Really cool how they wrap them up. A finished plate might look like a pastel color palette, something that a unicorn would love to eat. Mamio gravitates to a row of sweet goodies. The Chinese jujube are shiny like lip gloss. The vendor gets spoonfuls of ginkgo, chestnut, and more right into our cup. Altogether, this cost 50 baht, about $1.60 in US. That sauce is so sweet! Super sweet! The lotus, ginkgo, and chestnut are pretty calm. It's the syrup that is intensely sweet. Who knew lotus could be chewy? Well, you learn something new every day. I like it. Hey, let's scout for the next treat. A vendor pours soda into metal cones to create a welcoming tribe of popsicles. Durian, the king of fruits as they call it in Southeast Asia. Spiky on the outside, creamy in the inside. There are different types of durian, so be sure to try it more than once. Here's a colony of grilled fish, completely encrusted in salt. What's steaming over here? They're making kanam tuapab, mung bean rice crepes. They are stuffed with beans and covered in beans. Five pieces for 35 baht, which is about one dollar. Comes with a packet of sugar and sesame seeds. And now, let's eat! Aum. This is like Korean stock. I understand why 
why they gave us the packet of sugar. It's quite bland, not sweet at all. Pinch a bean and it flattens smoothly. Don't know why, but it's kind of fun to do. I like this bland flavor. Compared to how much they give us, this is a big pouch of sugar. Do you want to ride a wooden boat? Let's study the price list. Long boat, adult 60 baht. Children are free. Foreigner is 100 baht. We have only 200 baht right now, and we can't use it all on the boat. We still gotta eat some more food. Boat vendors are parked on the side, selling fresh produce and street food. Well, in this case, I guess you'd say canal food. You guys, it's a sprouted coconut. How precious and cute is this? Someone just threw a piece of bread and the fish are going at it. We come across rice crackers. Some of them are crowned with pepita. The crunch beckons. Mommy will buys a pack for 35 baht. Do these look like bath bombs to anybody else? I feel like I'm a mini lamb. I was just about to say, he just gave me a sample. Hello, Jing Jing. The gentleman gave me a kanam buang. Many refer to them as crispy pancakes or crepe, but I like to call them dessert tacos. The base contains mung bean flour, egg, and sugar, and they're topped with coconut cream and egg yolk threads. The saltier version has shrimp and scallion. Here's a bigger and more oval kanam buang in the making. Is there such thing as a main food court here? Cause there's food everywhere. Oh my yes, kanam krok, we meet again. Can you guess what's inside? Why of course, coconut. Growing up in the States, I did not like coconut, but let me tell you, the way coconut is used in Thailand is yummy licious, such as coconut milk and cow soy, and Thai coconut ice cream. Anyhow, back to kanam krok. Half of these small coconut rice pancakes have a sprinkle of chopped scallion. Two pieces are sandwiched together, like a hamburger with no patty. It's very hot. Come <laughs> on! The bottom of this is very hot. You gotta be careful. As we wait for the tiny coconut pancakes to cool down, we observe details in our surrounding. Here's a handmade fish comprised of plastic pyramids. Alrighty, let's try the kanom buang. That was just one small bite, but it starts making you feel thirsty. It's a compact sweet. And now we're ready. Is this your first time having kanam krok? Yeah. Every kanam krok I've had tasted a little different. Typically, I like my kanam krok, the exterior to be crispy, and the inside tends to be like a jelly-like. This one, the crispiness whispers. It's very subtle. This one is more sophisticatedly sweet than the dessert taco I had. The path of street food stalls lined on both sides is never ending. Skewered grilled meats over here and some more over there. Balls dipped in blindingly bright batter, then fried as they float around. So much vibrant yellow. I'm seeing smiley faces everywhere. Remember the filling in Kanam Buang? The orange bits are called Foi Tong, golden egg yolk threads. And the vendor is making it right now. The egg yolk mixture passes through a funnel down into boiling sugar water. After the liquid strings solidify, long chopsticks are used to pull the strands out. Then they are folded into a neat rectangle and hang out on a cooling rack. If eyes were stomachs, we'd be 10 times full. So much to look at, so much to eat, so many smells, just so much of everything here. This is stimulating. Want some steamed dumplings? They got it. And treats wrapped in banana leaves. Pedestrian traffic, but it's all good. Oh, it looks like there's a bridge here. Very narrow. It's pretty steep. Hello from the other side. Less people on this side of the canal. No side of food yet, but there are shops. Holy wowza, just noticed some vendors cook right at the edge of the canal. As boats zoom by, there's a paint station for kids. Then out of nowhere, we come across a cafe. This is a totally different feeling from the flo floating market. Oh. Mommy, you could get your coffee here. You said you wanted some caffeine. The cafe is inside a glass house and also has a cactus garden. Winds pick up. It's forecasted to rain today. It's 2.30 right now and some stalls are closing up. What was your favorite thing you ate today, Mario? I don't remember. The coconut pancakes are pretty good. Of all the things you guys saw in this video, what do you want to try the most? Let us know in the comments section. See you in the next video. Bye-bye.
Remember to subscribe and hit that notification bell. For food and travel in Korea, check out my other channel, Sweet and Tasty TV. Toodles, my noodles. It is a warm day. My pores are starting to sing. The pad thai is made fresh on the spot. Gotta watch out, they're random holes. Look, someone put a bunch of food for the fish in here and we just saw catfish. Oh, there it is. Mario, mm -hmm. why is there a bag there? What is inside? Oh, what do you think is in that bag? They're playing a John Denver song in the background. Right now it's Country Road. It's Virginia. I just realized I was using my chopstick upside down. It's supposed to be like this. <laughs> so it happens when you vlog and eat at the same time. Your attention is divided. Want muscles? They got that too and all kinds of toppings. Something in the air is making my eyes feel spicy. Oh, what is that? They're being so friendly. They're like, come here, try this. Hello. You want to say hi? Hi. Hi. So what is inside? Uh, the cassava. With caramel sugar. Dop chia. Dop chia. Coconut milk is also in it. Fantastic. We got a little sample here. Okay. I can mix it. Oh, mix it. Okay. I only have one hand, so. Okay. Okay. Hi, right, thank you. Cheers! Mmm, <laughs> that's good. Delicious. <laughs> is this traditional Thai? It is from my hometown, Songkha. Songkha? Yeah. It's from Songkha? Yeah. Really small. My hand covers it. Plaid siding. Let's see. We are at Siam, uh, Paragon. I wanted to have some saute before we left the market, but I totally forgot because well, it was really hot. I was so sweaty and when it gets hot like that, I can't function, I can't think straight. This part of the vlog will be a bit short because we're gonna head over to the boxing Muay Thai fight very soon. We gotta eat real fast. Areas. Yep, that's the ginger. Wow, but that pool of grease though, it's flooding. 